His saffron robe disappears beneath the white of his medical protection suit as Pra Maha Prampong prepares to head out. The Buddhist monk leads a volunteer team organized by his Bangkok temple to one of the many poor communities suffering from Thailand's worst COVID-19 outbreak since the start of the pandemic. When it comes to taking care of patients and access to basic public health, this is something that should have been taken care of by the government. We all know the COVID-19 situation in Thailand is very severe. Not everyone has had their inoculations. Many people have fallen through the cracks and have not received any help. His team administers rapid tests for those who can't afford them. Two lines means positive. In this cramped household, six of the 12 people tested positive for COVID-19. But it's not just those being neglected by the government's COVID-19 medical response plan who are suffering. The economic impact on some of Thailand's industries is so deep, they are turning to the courts to hold the government accountable. Spas and massage parlors are big business in Thailand, at least they were before the pandemic. The industry used to bring in over a billion dollars a year, but now more than 80% of the businesses are closed for good, putting more than 200,000 people out of work. In the repeated times the government has tightened COVID-19 restrictions, spas and massage parlors topped the list of closures. They've been closed for most of the year without any compensation from the government. A group of massage parlor owners and masseuses filed a class action suit in civil court seeking $6 million in compensation. This case is where many victims have been damaged by similar actions. And the people damaged by these actions of the government should be compensated at the same time. This is so they don't have to risk filing individual suits and possibly getting different verdicts. The Prime Minister's office and the Ministry of Public Health both refused our interview requests. As the government tries to keep up with its delayed vaccine program, new infections will continue to increase and the lockdown will likely remain. As will the reliance on volunteers to come to the aid of the communities that need the most help. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.